Hello, I'm here with my special guest, David Smith. Hi. And we're going to talk about the uh, NFL Week 18 uh, game lineup. Uh, last week of the regular season, uh, a lot of teams trying to secure either playoff spots or their seeds in the playoffs. Some teams already know where they're going. They may be resting some starters. And so it should be an interesting week for um, trying to figure out who's going to win these games because a really good team may not be as good if they're resting their starters this week. So it should be some interesting stuff. So, David, uh, start us off with the two games that we have uh, on today, Saturday. We have a couple Saturday games. So today we have the Chiefs versus Raiders and Titans versus Jaguars today. Okay. So the AFC South is up for the um for debate whether the Titans or Jaguars win this week. All right. So looking at that game, that they have big implications for the AFC South. Whoever wins is in. Whoever loses is out. Who do you think? Who do you got? Who do you got? First, I'm going to start the smaller game, Chiefs versus Raiders. Ah, okay. So Chiefs are already in. They're just fighting They're for playoff for seeding. seeding. Are Raiders able to get in? Or are they done? They're too too late now. Okay. So we'll see. The Chiefs are trying to get playoff seeding, so I'm sure they'll be playing most of the guys who. So. I think I know the answer to this, but who do you got going into this game? I actually might be taking the upset. I might be taking the Raiders. Here. Upset with the Raiders. Was Jared Stidham starting? He almost beat the 49ers, one of the top teams in the NFC. I'm not saying that it's uh, for sure. I want to see the Raiders upset the Chiefs. All right. I like it. I like it. Upset right from the top. All and right. I expect the Kansas City Chiefs to destroy with the Raiders. I want Raiders to win. So you're picking the Raiders, even though you think the Chiefs are going to win? Okay, yes. we, we, can, we can go with that. We can go with that. Titans versus Jaguars. There you Ooh, go. This one's a tough one. Kind of game of the week right there, probably, huh? <laughs> I mean, More likely. Kind of, kind of for, for, they might probably get bounced out of the playoffs pretty quick, but I don't know. Jaguars have looked really good the last few weeks, where Tennessee is on the opposite end of it, just going down. So what do you think? The Titans just lost to our Houston Texans. The Jaguars have been on a five-game winning streak. Yep, it's a big uh, I big am going for Duval County. Duval. Jacksonville, Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars. So Jacksonville makes it in the playoffs. Titans are on the outside looking in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move to our Sunday slate of games where the rest of the league is, is going to be playing. So who do you got first? What's, who's first on your radar? So the first on my radar, I think, is going to have one of some of the biggest playoff implications. Okay. Is that going to be the Ravens versus Bengals. Ravens, Bengals. Because they are one of the they're some of the top teams for seeding. If the Ravens win, they overtake the Bengals. Really? So for that third spot. Okay. So that's gonna be an early potential game of the week. And that also shows the AFC um North title right there. Awesome. Cheese. Um you got Ravens versus Bengals. I am gonna after what happened with Demar Hamlin, I think it's it's probably a no brainer for me. I'm gonna choose the Bengals. I think they're gonna come out really raring to go after that last week. Because since like at that like they kind of like they lost that game, like they were ahead in that game, they were looking pretty good in that game. They were driving again. And then the game got canceled due to the injury to Denny to Demar Hamlin. So yeah. So I feel like that. the Bengals will come back with that mentality, and I feel like Bengals will win. All right, sounds good. What else we got? So, here's another playoff implication for one team. One team only. Rams versus Seahawks. Okay. I'm excited Seahawks for this game. Get in? The Seahawks, if they win, they're automatically in. Okay. But if they lose, if they lose, the winner of Detroit versus Green Bay takes overtakes their spot. But if Seattle wins, they win due to tiebreakers oh. over Detroit and Green Bay. Okay. So, if the Seahawks win, which I am choosing the Seahawks to win this over the Rams, they are into the playoffs as the seventh seed, and they completed one of the fastest rebuilds in history. Sounds good. Yeah, Geno Smith, surprising out there, making the Pro Bowl. I want him to get the MVP, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, doubtful. All right, what else we got? So, next, a game that more has playoff implications for the AFC. Okay. I'm going to do... Bills versus Patriots. Ah, Bills are in, looking for seeding, especially, They're, you know, with the game that got canceled last week. They uh, lost the number one seed due to that. Yep, but uh, Patriots are looking to get into the playoffs, so it's going to be a tough matchup. So, so what do you think? I'm going to do two games in one. I'm going to do the Bills versus Patriots and Jets versus Dolphins. Okay. Because if the Patriots lose and the Dolphins win, the Dolphins are in. Okay. But if the Patriots win and the Dolphins lose, the Patriots are in. So it's kind of a win-lose game. It's a must-win. 
First of all, I am starting with Patriots versus Bills. I got the Bills winning yeah, because think, of Demar Hamlin. I think they're gonna go crazy. I agree with you there. I think they're gonna come out really strong for Demar Hamlin. I think they're gonna come out fighting and ready to secure their playoff spot. And uh, yeah, I agree with you on that one. Now the game that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Dolphins versus Jets. Mm -hmm. I am excited for this game because this is a must-win game for the Dolphins. They have their rookie quarterback Skylar Thompson, who I think was drafted in like uh, like the one of the last rounds in the draft, could have a story here if he win this game. Now, if the Dolphins get in the playoffs, is Tua going to be playing or no? Is he done? I don't know about that, but he might be because he got three concuss concussions in a year. Yeah, that's not good. More health, scary health situations out there, but uh, that'll be an interesting game to see. And I am cheering for the Dolphins to win this game. Dolphins to win. I want well, Dolphins good. to win. Okay, let's do some kind of meaningless games here. Okay. Let's start with the um the Panthers versus Saints. Both teams out of the playoffs, just playing for you know to to play and get some experience for their guys, and uh, you know hopefully end the season on a high note, right? So ESPN says that the score. They're projecting for New Orleans to be to win by three and a half points. Mm -hmm. I am going to do the opposite. I want the Panthers to win by three point five points. Three and a half for the Panthers, okay? Because right. I want to see the pan. Because I have Devontae Foreman on my fantasy team. Uh -huh. for the fantasy past four teams. weeks, he's gotten over twelve points in a row. I feel like he's going to keep that mentality and drive the Panthers to the win. Okay. And I feel like the Saints who have been injury-ridden this whole year. I feel like they're going to fall apart in this last game. If injuries, they're not going to be prepared. So they're going to go out, lose this game to the Panthers. Boom, Baltic. All right, what else we got? So let's do some... This game is not meaningless. This game is kind of meaningful with the other two games I talked about in the AFC. We talked about the Dolphins. We talked about the Patriots. So I'm talking about Browns versus Steelers. Okay. If Pittsburgh wins, they get in. I think over time, it's gonna be a tiebreaker between if two teams win, so it'll be a tiebreaker. So Pittsburgh, I think needs they need them to win. They need the Patriots to lose, and they need the Dolphins to lose to get in. Wow! So they got a chance, but uh, a lot of stuff has to happen for them. But thankfully. The Bills are playing against the Patriots, mm -hmm. so I think the Bills are going to win that. The bad part is going to be the Jets versus Dolphins. They need the Jets to show up. Wow, uh, okay. But since they're playing the Browns, and they haven't been playing too good after Deshaun came back, I am going for the Steelers by 10 points. Steelers by 10. All right, you heard here. All right, what else we got going on? So, oh. This is my game of the week here. All right. Packers versus Lions. Packers versus Lions. Okay. Lions have shown up this last half of the Whoever year. Whoever wins, if Seattle loses, they get in. This game, it means a lot. I'd love to see Detroit pull that off. That'd if be cool. Packers, Packers will have their first losing season since, I think, 2017. If they lose. If they lose this. And the Lions will be in the playoffs for, like, the first time in a while. Yep, yep, I tell you. So doing a good turnaround down there last half of the year. The Packers <coughs> are projected to win. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. It's all right. I, I really want to see this too, and I think they're going to win. I want the Lions to bring that Lion mentality that Dan Campbell has, and they're going to win by five points and show the Packers and the world that they're going to make their playoffs. Sounds good. Sounds They're good. gonna make the playoffs, in my opinion, because that's what I want. Awesome. I don't care about the Seahawks. Like, they can lose or win. I wouldn't really care, but I want the Lions to win in this game. Like a lot, it means a Sounds lot. Sounds good. All right. Anything else to cover before we? Let's keep going? do some more. I do have one more. That's done up two more actually. That's gonna have a lot of seeding implica implications. Okay. First of all. I got the Vikings versus Bears okay. because of the Vikings, they're trying to get up to the top. Right. I don't think they can anymore. I think they need, actually, no, I think I, they need Dallas and Philadelphia to lose to get in as a top seed. I 
They were playing against the Bears who were trying to... They might be trying to tank for the number one pick, but who knows? Man, I hope the Texans don't win and the Bears lose. That would I want the Texans to get that number one pick. They played bad enough this year to earn it. <laughs> uh, it's They say on ESPN that Minnesota's going to win by six points. Okay. And I agree, times two. They're going to win by 12 points? They're going to win by 13. 13 points. I, good. I feel like Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, and the whole Vikings offense had a terrible week last week. They're going to come back knowing because they can't have two bad weeks in a row. We, like, Yeah, they could be inconsistent, but we know they can't, as we've seen throughout the season, the Vikings don't have two bad weeks in a row. Gotcha. Well, I hope you're right. I hope Justin Jefferson gets a lot of catches, a lot of touches, a lot of touchdowns because uh, you're in the he's championship. On my fantasy team. Uh, they're by 11 points going into the final week. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, anything the final else you got to cover? thing I'm going to say. I'm going to say Buccaneers versus Falcons. The Buccaneers are already in, but they're not resting their starters. Buccaneers are locked into the four. They're, they're, they say that they're not resting starters. I would be very, very surprised if we see Brady and Evans and Godwin and Fournette all playing in the second half. I would be surprised. Yeah. And they and on ESPN, it says that Atlanta is going to win by four points as, like, a revenge versus Tom Brady. Well, again, if, if it books are resting starters, I could see that being the case. I don't think Blaine Gabbert is going to go out there in light of the world. But the Bucks, the Bucks, I feel like they're going to have – they had a good week last week. They I got think they the want playoffs. to keep that momentum going, right? You would think they'd want to keep that going. I think that the Bucks are going to win this game in a nail-biter. I think it's going to be down to the final minute, and I think Ryan Suckup will have the game winner. Okay. Field goal to win the Field game. Field goal to win the game. Sounds good. That's Sounds my good. take on that game. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, David, for our thoughts on the NFL week this weekend. I do have one other question I want to ask because I don't know if we'll have a chance to get to it before Monday. Who you got in the college football championship game? I, I'm going to say for the upset, I'm going to say TCU beats Georgia. Go Texas. Go Texas teams. <laughs> All right. Um, I I have a hard time thinking that Georgia loses that one, but my, my heart is saying I would love to see TCU pull that off. Just to have that, that underdog be able to bring in the championship, that would be pretty cool. Plus, their coach last year was Sonny Dykes. Um, well, now it's Sonny Dykes, who was an SMU head coach last year That's, from, he's, he's from a up. non-Power 5 team to well, be in the college football championship in well, the next year in a TCU team who – I didn't even expect to be in the top 25 this year, let alone be in the college football playoff final. Yep, yep. That's an underdog story. I am cheering for TCU. Awesome. All right. Well, that wraps up our NFL Week 18 um, predictions, along with our, our bonus prediction for the college football national championship game, which will be played on Monday the 9th. Um, thank you for coming on, David. You're welcome. Sharing with us your picks and your thoughts on uh, this weekend's games. And we will talk to you again soon. Yes. All right. Bye, everybody.